Good afternoon. Hi. If you don't know me, I'm Terry Allison. I'm the Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs here at GSU. Uh, I would like to make a few brief remarks uh, before I start introducing the other speakers. As we transition to the new academic year 2012-13, Let's stop for a moment to reflect on transitions and transformations. During the last year, GSU completed most of the implementation of our integrated data system colleague. We renumbered all of our courses, and in doing so, we reviewed our entire curriculum, course by course. We had a number of reorganizations and transitions and leadership to prepare us for the next stage of growth. A large number of staff and faculty opted to retire, some on short notice as discussions uh, moved forward in Springfield. We faced a substantial budget cut and there was widespread uh, engagement in planning and effective response. So I have two brief observations about these major transitions. First, we are surviving and thriving through change. A large number of GSU faculty, staff, and students have stepped up your leadership and are successfully guiding us through these, this rapidly changing environment. Second, with first year students and our first residential programs, there are even greater transitions to come. In these greater transitions, we need your leadership, your dedication, and your enthusiasm. The work has just begun. So I hope that most of us enjoyed some vacation time and are coming back refreshed, renewed, and ready to undertake these many challenges that will face GSU during this academic year. In her State of the University Address, President Maimon will review many of the past year's accomplishments as well as the major challenges ahead. So I'll keep my remarks short and focus now on thank yous. First, I would like to thank our students present, especially those willing to step up and serve on the Student Senate. With Sharice Anderson's support, the Student Senate is increasingly active and focused on representation of students. I appreciate your efforts. Would uh, members of the Student Senate present please stand and be recognized? Next, I would like to thank the faculty for your work. I appreciate your efforts to build quality in your programs and to focus on what students are learning. Aside from course renumbering, faculty, chairs, and deans have been successful in developing several new majors and graduate programs. This has meant a phenomenal amount of work for the University Curriculum Committee and the Academic Program Review Committee. Would faculty members of those committees stand up and be recognized for your work, please? We have a few in back there. In this time of transition, Dr. Ann Vendrilly willingly agreed to serve as chair of the General Education Task Force, working with faculty, staff, and administrators throughout the university to develop a world-class general education program to engage students from the freshman to the senior year. Would Dr. Vendrilly and members of the GE Task Force please stand and be recognized for your work. To all faculty, I'd like to say thank you for your care and support of students. You often make extraordinary efforts to help students achieve. This is also a faculty increasingly engaged in scholarly inquiry, community service, and professional development. You have worked to hire outstanding new colleagues, and I appreciate your work. I again would like to thank staff and administrators, especially during this continuing crunch of implementing these new integrated systems. Many individuals have worked tirelessly on these projects, and I appreciate the sustained effort it has taken. Finally, I appreciate our Board of Trustees who are here and will be recognized by the President, as well as community members uh, present. I also thank our professional partners who guide student internships and field experience. Without these contributions of community members, GSU would not exist. Through you, we are able to flourish. 
I would now like to invite to the stage our faculty senate president, Dr. Rashida Mohammed. Professor Mohammed is doing an extraordinary job in leading the faculty senate through this time of change. As we welcome her to the stage, I would like to express my great thanks for her leadership, her courage, and for her support of shared governance here at Governor State University. Thank you. an exciting new year at Governor State University as we welcome our first class of dual degree students. As you can see from my t-shirt, I am the proud parent of one of the dual degree students. My daughter, along with getting her son through high school, working full time at Caterpillar, graduated Soon come live from Perry State this last spring. <laughs> I like to say the apple don't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> but the, in this case, the tree has to be my husband. <laughs> we must applaud the work of our president, Dr. Maimon, that we have the dual degree program. Students complete their associate's degree at area community colleges, then having worked with our academic advisors during their community college careers, move right into their degree programs at Governor State University. Now for the first time in GSU history, GSU is posed to become a full service university, educating bachelor's, bachelor, bachelor's master, and doctor degree students. So GSU remains the place to finish what you start, as well as the place to achieve success by degrees. However, exciting as this time may be, we are, forced, we are faced with conflicting realities. We are expanding, we are growing, we are constructing a new university. Yet at the same time, we are facing severe state budget cuts. So how do we negotiate this difficult terrain? What can the GSU faculty do? We can design and offer programs of study that will attract and meet the demands of the 21st century global student. We must make sure that we put forth the most innovative, technologically sound, best practices in our curriculums. Elise Velo, she's one of the senior research designers for Steelcase. She was talking about classroom models but she's no, and in her discussion, she noted that there is a new demand for students to be critical thinkers, have great communication skills, and be able to collaborate. Our students must speak more than one language. That means we must speak more than one language. We have to be able to communicate with multiple discourse communities. During her Nobel Prize lecture, Toni Morrison said, word work is sublime. It makes meaning. It secures our differences, our human difference, the way in which we are like no other form of life. We die, that may be the meaning of life. But we do language. That may be the measure of our lives. Thus, our mission is simple, yet our challenge is extremely complex. If we are to build, if we build it, they will come. If we build it, they will come. If we build it, they will come. And we must build it for today, for all our tomorrow. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mohammed, very much for your comments. I'd like to welcome now Laura Owens, our president of the Civil Service Senate. And uh, Laura will just provide some welcoming remarks as well. Thank you, Laura. Good afternoon, faculty, administration, and staff. It is a new academic year, and GSU has lots of exciting changes going on. New renovations, new programs, new faculty. As a civil service employee, I feel great to be a part of an 
environment that fosters education. There's three things I want to mention. One's a fact, one's a philosophy, and one's a feeling. Fact. We are we are a part of a sum of, GSU is a sum of a soul. If I feel great and you feel great, GSU can be nothing but great. GSU employees have pride in their work. And if that pride is contagious, it'll show in GSU. I would like to ask the Civil Service Senate that's here to please stand and be recognized for their support in GSU and civil service staff. <laughs> so once again, if I feel great, how do you feel? Great. great. And then GSU can be no less than great. I thank you and I thank our Senate for their support. Next, uh, our student body uh, president could not be here today, but speaking on behalf of students, we have our student trustee, Erin Fletcher. So I welcome Ms. Fletcher to the stage. Hello, good afternoon. On behalf of the Student Senate, Senate and our President Lisa Wallace, we welcome you. Today we convene for the purpose of greeting the new academic year and all new staff, students, faculty, and administration who are joining us here at GSU. Convocation is a rite of passage for all. We are here to build a sense of community, articulate the mission of the university, and formally induct new scholars on their educational journey. It is our intent to promote a community of learners who will seek knowledge through involvement, engagement, and commitment. And it is with these <coughs> initiatives that we expand our knowledge and sometimes change our thinking. The Student Senate is eager to get out on campus and start a dialogue about the benefits and opportunities available in student life. The senators are especially excited to build a strong relationship with our new Dean of Students, Dr. Aurelio Valente and work with the department on initiatives and events on campus and within the community. This is true not only for the students, but also to the faculty, staff, and administration. It is your involvement and dedication that promotes the guidance that helps us students demonstrate an ability to influence others and helps to promote a willingness to learn in response to the challenges presented before us in an ever-changing and diverse society. We are also here today to honor recipients of both the BASOR and Excellence Awards. You are being honored for your dedication to your profession, and it also marks the positive impact on higher education and the students that you serve. It is an example of leadership and character. Taking, Martin Luther King, taking from Martin Luther King Jr., experience plus character, that is the goal of true education. It is through critical thinking and creative thought that we are able to express our, experience our journey and find continued purpose in it. Let us remain on that path as we greet a new academic year and welcome new experiences. Again, on behalf of the Governor State University Student Senate, welcome.